Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And today I'm unboxing something really cool. It is the Huawei Mate Book. The Mate Book is a tablet, a Windows 10 tablet, that also is a laptop when used with the keyboard cover. Kind of like a Surface. In addition, I also have the, the Huawei Mate Dock, which is a like a docking station, a USB Type-C docking station, which kind of turns it into a desktop computer, meaning you can connect it to a monitor, keyboard, mouse, Ethernet, um, and have a really nice desk setup as well as a portable device. So I'm going to unbox all three things. So I have, like I said, the Mate Dock, the MateBook Portfolio Keyboard, and the thing I'm going to unbox first, which is the Huawei Mate book itself. Uh, so I have some scissors here, but it looks like I think I can just pull up this tab. Um, I should say first, the packaging is very simplistic and beautiful, and I think that's really nice. The box is just all white. Uh, we have the company logo on the top, as well as an Intel inside uh, logo. This is a Intel um, Core M3 processor. Uh, it is also available on M5. This one is an M3. So it's a uh, low energy fanless CPU. So very quiet and should have very good battery life. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. So I'm going to pull up on this tab. Ooh. And we see the tablet itself. There's another little pull tab to bring it up. Now I'm just going to put the tablet to the side just for a moment, guys. Because I want to look at what else is in the box before we look at the tablet itself. Okay. Let me adjust the camera a bit here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take this top piece off. And what do we have? We have... Uh, let's see. Inside the box is a quick start guide which I don't think I really need to read. Well, let's see, if you guys want to pause that or just take a look, it shows where the speakers are, the power button, camera, volume up, volume down, the USB, USB Type-C port, headset socket, microphone, ambient light sensor, which is hidden, camera indicator, good, good thing to have an indicator light, uh, fingerprint sensor, yes, it does have a fingerprint reader for, my, uh, for Windows Hello, charging indicator and socket for portfolio keyboards, like little pogo pins. All right, let's keep unboxing here. We have, ooh, this is nice, a flat USB-C cable, and it is USB Type-C to Type-C. What else do we have here? Let's see. We have a USB Type-C, what is this here? A USB Type-C to micro USB. Okay, not sure what that's for exactly. What else do we have here? We have, oh, this is, oh, okay. This makes more sense. So this is actually really cool. So there's a USB Type-C port here, which would plug into the tablet to micro USB. The micro USB can plug into this and you have a type A connector. So if you had like let's say a flash drive or a USB type A keyboard or mouse, um, it comes with the adapter inside to connect those. That's really cool. Awesome. And lastly, it looks like here is a power brick. Now for portability, I just wanna show you guys. Now think about your typical laptop. You have kind of a big charging brick and a wire that wraps around here. Uh, oh no, looks like I don't have a USA charger in the box. It looks like a European style charger. However, luckily I do have some, I believe I have a type C charger somewhere. Um, but just imagine you would plug in the type C um, port here. Um, this would go into the wall if you had an American style. Um, and it's just a really small cable, a thin cable and a thin charger that you can throw in your bag, much less bulky than a, a typical laptop um, 
AC adapter. However, I will say, let's see, actually it's a pretty good length. It's actually a pretty good length cable. So if you were at like, let's say Starbucks and you had to get to an outlet, you have that option. Awesome, okay. Anything else in this box? Uh, no, it actually shows, let me adjust the camera once more. The inside of the lid shows here what everything does. So it kind of shows how you can connect, let's say a micro USB smartphone to the tablet. You can connect a type A flash drive or connect to a wall outlet. Cool, very, very cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. And that looks like it. So that's the Huawei Matebook tablet in the inside of the box. Now let's look at the actual tablet itself, of course. This is the exciting moment. Okay, so let's take this packaging off. Awesome. Okay, so as you can see on the back here, Core M3 inside, Windows. Now, if I could bring this here, just to show the top, okay. There is no rear camera. There's no rear camera on the Huawei Matebook. Only a front camera. And I can understand some people might be disappointed with that. However, I will say, I mean, you, your tablet really shouldn't be used as a camera. The front, At least having a front-facing camera is good for um, video chat and things like that. Okay, here's the front. So this is a 12 inch tablet. On the bottom are the pogo pins. That's to connect to, if I can get that to zoom, focus a bit with my, there we go, with my iPhone. So there's the pogo pins that'll plug into the keyboard, uh, keyboard case, which I'll unbox shortly. Uh, let's see, on the right side, we see the USB type C port. Looks like a little microphone uh, microphone there. Uh, here we have a volume up and volume down, and in the middle is a fingerprint reader, and that's for Windows Hello. So when the computer boots up, rather than have to enter in a password or a pin, you can just put your fingerprint there, you know, put your finger on the fingerprint reader, and unlock your Windows machine. That's really awesome. On the top, we see stereo speakers. That's really cool. So. We have two speakers there, it looks like another mic, and I believe there's dual a dual mic array for things like Cortana. So I believe it's one uh, microphone there, one on the other side. Uh, also on the top is the power button. Uh, here it looks like another microphone hole, as well as a three and a half millimeter jack. And it's just really amazing at how thin this, uh, this tablet is, the Matebook. It is like as thin as a smartphone. It's, it's really phenomenal, it's all aluminum around it. Just a really beautiful, beautiful tablet. Um, so to get the full experience though, obviously you're gonna wanna connect the, um, the portfolio keyboard. So I'm just gonna put the tablet aside for a moment. Okay. And we will now look at the keyboard. And once I have the keyboard uh, opened up on box, we can take a look at the two together. So let's see, how do we get to that? All right, we gotta cut this open. So there is uh, plastic all along the side here. I'm just gonna pull off the plastic. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. And the, now I just wanna mention that the, the tablet, the Matebook is a tablet. But when you hear book in the name, you think laptop, because it's really meant to be used with this portfolio keyboard. Um, I, I don't see many people buying it without the keyboard. Uh, however, it is a separate purchase. So let's go ahead and open this up. So again, this little tab. Ooh. So we can see on the top, let me bring up the camera up here. We can see some different positions. So it shows you how to open up the, um, the keyboard case to kind of position it up in a laptop mode. There you go, guys. And again, very similar to something like the Surface, except there's no kickstand on the tablet itself. The, the, the keyboard portfolio is what will um, prop it up. And I think that's actually kind of a better design because a lot of times for like the Surface Pro, um, the Pro 4, the Pro 3, there would be accessory makers that would make a case for those tablets 
and the case itself would have a kickstand and then the integrated kickstand would never be used. So I kind of like the idea of having a kickstand in the, in the keyboard case um, better than having it integrated into the tablet itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the plastic off. Okay. Ooh. It's a really beautiful, like, brown color. I don't believe it's real leather, but it looks like... It, it looks like leather, but I don't think it actually is leather. So here we have a thing for a stylus that you can connect. I don't believe, uh, I don't think I have a stylus, but I digress. So let's take a look. Wow. Okay. So here we go, guys. Here is the keyboard. And I'm going to take the tablet and the pogo pins. And it snaps in like, you know, magnets. Let's see. And how do we do this? Just prop it up like that. Bam. See me a bit in the picture here. And we have ourselves a laptop. We now have a 12 inch Windows 10 laptop. How cool is that? Uh, the trackpad is really nice. It's a, like a large glass trackpad. Clicking feels really great. Um, the keyboard actually feels really nice. There's a little bit of movement on it, but overall it's it's very solid. And I will review this keyboard and, and the, the, the tablet itself, the whole Matebook package for betanews.com. This is really just me unboxing and experiencing it for the first time. But yeah, really nice. Of course, um, let me show you guys the side here. You really can't use this on your lap, I'll tell you that. I mean, you really can't. So this is meant for a desk or a table, let's say if you're at Starbucks or the library. Um, but if you were to try to use this on your lap, I mean, it just, it flops. You could probably pull it off, but you'd be worried the whole time that it's gonna fall off your lap, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so if you need a computer that's good to be used on a lap, this would not be it for you. If you want a computer that's really thin that you could use on a table, on a desk, um, you know, somewhere you have a flat service, I mean, this this is looking to be a great uh, solution. Um, so, all right, so let's put the computer to the side for a moment and let us next look at the dock. Now, this is a cool docking station. It's very similar to the one that now comes with like the Surface Pro four in that with the service pro three it was a docking station it kind of the whole tablet snapped into it and it was very stationary um the surface pro four has one that's um more like a dongle rather than a docking station and the same thing applies here and what's really cool about this particular docking station is that it has like a leather um holder i'll show you guys what i mean so if you, you wanted to put this in, let's say, a bag, which I don't really know why you would want to unless you're traveling from one destination where you have a monitor, keyboard, and mouse to another destination that has a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Um, you, you, you know, but if you wanted to, you have the option of, of traveling with it as well. I'll show you why. Put this up here. Ooh. And this looks to match the same brown color. How does this open up? Is this anything in here? No. Okay. So the inside is empty. We show here uh, we have a VGA, a HDMI, Ethernet, USB 3.0, um, and uh, a USB-C connector, as well as a path pass-through for charging. So you can use this while also charging. That is awesome. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and look at it. Let's take the plastic off. Wow. Jake, I, I don't know if it's actually leather, but it's leather-esque, we can see here. Let's open it up. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Maybe a little booklet of some sort. Uh, safety information, a warranty card. I'm not going to look at that. And, okay, cool. So let's see. We have, let's, I'll show you guys how this will work. So this can come out. This little station, you can put the stylus in here as well. I don't have a stylus. Uh, I was trying to figure out what this was here. It looks like you could put, uh, let's see, oh, some of the adapters maybe, like the Type A could maybe snap in there, and maybe a cable could go in there, um, but really the star of the show is the docking station, and it feels like it's aluminum, and this would plug in, I'll show you on the side here, 
This will plug into the USB Type-C port, which is reversible. You don't have to worry about a side. And you can see now we can connect to an HDMI monitor. And on the other side, we have Ethernet, USB 3.0, and that pass-through port there. So you could have the charger hooked up to this, let's say a keyboard and mouse, your home Ethernet, um, an HDMI monitor, and you have yourself a desktop. That's really, really cool. And it's such a small little dock. Um, you don't have to worry, like I said, about taking up a huge amount of space on your desk. And if you do want to travel with it, you have that option. So I've unboxed now the computer itself, the, um, the docking station, and the keyboard. Uh, so let's just go ahead. The last thing I think we should do, whoop. Last thing we should do, put that up there, is power it on. Now, it may not have power from the factory. Let's say I'm just going to hold down the power button. And no, it does not appear to have power from the factory. That's okay. Um, I believe a lot of I, computers do that on purpose where you have to at least charge it once to get power. But um, So there you go. There you go, uh, there you go guys. Um, we have the computer itself. There is the MateBook. We have the MateBook docking station and the MateBook portfolio keyboard here. Uh, just to show you guys how it looks all in there. There you go. This would be what you would travel with. It's like almost having a book. Um, you know, this, this could go in a really small bag. Uh, great for traveling. A single USB Type-C port. Fingerprint reader. Um, really great machine. I, th I think, I think, I think uh, Huawei has a winner on its hands, um, but of course I'll reserve judgment until I actually get to test this, and I will review this for betanews.com. Uh, once again, this is the M3 variant, so it's not the most powerful, um, but it is fanless, good on battery. Um, it's not something that you would get for hardcore, let's say, video editing, um, but it runs full Windows 10. Um, I can do writing on it, web surfing, Anything really I want, I can do on this. And it has a modern USB Type-C. It's fanless. Uh, there's no sound at all. I mean, it's a silent computer. Um, very, very cool. Uh, it starts at $699. I think that's the price for this model, which is an M3 with 4 gigs of RAM and a 128 gigabyte SSD. Uh, it does have TPM 2.0, uh, so you can have BitLocker on there. Um, fingerprint reader is a very secure device as well. You can you know, use BitLocker on the internal SSD with the TPM 2.0. If you have any questions about this computer, um, you know, please leave any questions you have in the comments below on the video, and I am more than happy to answer any of them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep checking for reviews at betanews.com, and have a great day.